This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. <laughs> Virgin. Yeah, I know, that was childish. Anyway, morning everyone. How are we doing? Hopefully you are all well. We're just walking to the truck now. So we can start our Friday shift. There she is. Nice and clean and tidy. Hopefully we won't have to clean it when we come back because we've already done it. You even got some tire shine on it, but go me. Anyway, we've got to do three drops today. Um, this last load is coming off in Chichester, which is those two. Just those two. And on the other side as well. Yeah, just those two. So four in total. Uh, we've also got a Gosport delivery. Gos Gosport, which is those two. Those two. And I think three on the other side. And then the first delivery, which is in Salisbury this morning, is the rest of it on the back, which is most of it. So most of it's going to be coming off at the first delivery. And then, uh, well, and then we'll have less than half a load for the rest. So yeah, again from the back, so Salisbury, 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 that's Salisbury at the top, um, which is where we're going first. And then that is Gosport, Gosport, Gosport. And then these two is, uh, is Chichester. I don't think you'd ever get me on one of them. Not a chance <laughs> not a chance right so let's uh, get the engine on get her warmed up do some checks and crack on nice so it's a bit of a late one well, it's, not, it's not really a late one it's only six, up past six in the morning but the souls we delivery won't take a delivery until eight uh eight o'clock this morning so yeah we'd have to start too early uh, I forgot to put the hazards on. Silly me. Let's put the hazards on. Right. First thing I do is just check the lights, make sure all the lights are working. Not that we need most of them, all these ones we don't really need on because it's daylight, but you know. So what? Looks nice this way, isn't it? Also, um, we are using GoPro footage in this video. This is a proper full-length release. It will be GoPro footage. In fact, I've charged them all up, so it should be ready to go for when we jump in the cab and do uh, some paperwork. That balloon's getting closer. <laughs> Definitely getting closer. I've got a very funny story about hot air balloons, actually, if you want to hear it. Well. If you don't want to hear it, then skip. <laughs> Me and my wife, we went to the Bristol Balloon Fiesta in, in Bristol once, and uh, we turned up quite late. And uh, we got there. And I'm like, bloody hell! Look, we can park right at the front, so we are, we don't have to walk as far. It's like, yeah. Why is no one parking at the front? So we parked at the front and uh, of the of the gra car car park on the grass, and we, I was like, yeah, man. Like, <laughs> we, we we've done such a good thing because we we've, we've we've gone right to the front. We haven't got to walk very far. Anyway, when we tried leaving again, we realised why it took us forever to get back out of the car park. <laughs> it's always a funny story to remember. It's quite funny because I was so happy that I parked at the front and then at the end I was like, okay, now I know why no one parks at the front. <laughs> yes, everything looks good. Lights are on. We have tread on our tyres. Balloons back over there. Right, just up in the truck. Okay, so we're going to arrive. Well, I've got to get going look because we need to be there for 8 o'clock. But we're going to have to go a certain way in because, according to Google, this road here, which is the road I was going to take, is shut going down. So I don't want to get here and then find out it is shut. So we're just going to come down here, which is still an A road come in this way and back up and then we're going to turn right here and apparently this is where the road closure is we will find out when we get there but apparently right here is where the road closure is on the a360 going up so that's what we're going to do 
so everything's done on my on my end in terms of paperwork and checks and everything like that so i'm going to crack on and uh, next time you see me we'll, we'll be on gopro footage when we are approaching the delivery we've got to go down some single track bendy lanes um i've been to this place once before so yes you get a little bit tight if there's if there's, if there's some cars coming let's go i'll see you in a bit Just past the break of day Luke's in a HGV Got a load to move today From the highlands in the north To the coastlines in the west In a white RV code S-Way I'm delivering the best Timber, steel and pipes too Bags and blocks and bricks, it's true Across the I'm on a never-ending quest From Newcastle to Old Cornwall The miles are counting fast Through the green and rolling hills Where memories are cast With a trailer full of heavy loads And a heart that's full of pride I'm the king of every road With the white RV coat by my side Timber steel and Through the rain and fog I go Every season, every show From the bustling city lights To the quiet country nights I've seen it all from this cab of mine Delivering home One mile at a time Okay, right, we're in Salisbury. We've just passed one sign that said road ahead closed. If I'm right, the road is closed literally where we need to turn right. If I'm wrong, then we can't get to where we want to get to. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's times like these you start to, you know, panic somewhat. But this is exactly why I've come in this way, not the other way, because the other way which is the quicker way, I would have 100% needed to take the road which is closed. This way I'm hoping I can get round or get go up to it and then turn right. So we're definitely going to be coming across more road close signs. I believe we've got two more roundabouts to navigate over, get straight over both of them, and then we come to the final roundabout where I think the road closure could be. Yes, but there's, there's signs back there that says A360 shut, no access to Stonehenge. Um, yes. Hopefully we're okay. Hopefully we've come in the correct way. There's still vehicles coming that way, so, you know, it's promising. No access to Stonehenge. That's fine. I don't want to go to Stonehenge. Stonehenge is not where I'm going. Right, moment of truth is at this next roundabout. But it's definitely closed off, I can see it's closed off. But can we turn right? That's the question. Can we turn right? I think we can, I think we're good. I think we're good, I think we've done this perfectly. I think. Ugh. Can't quite tell from here. Access to Camp Hill only. Yep, that's what we want, we want Camp Hill. That is exactly what we want. Temporary weight limit, except for loading. I'm going to be loading, unloading, same thing. Just a mile down this road. I think that weight limit's in place to stop vehicles such as myself going through to Stonehenge. I think that's what it is about. They don't want large, because it is quite tight down here. It's quite now. You don't want to be meeting other trucks. We have to come down here because our delivery is down here but they don't want trucks coming down here 
to, to you know to cut across that A360. So that's what that temporary weight limit is about. Lots of cars. I'm definitely half expecting someone to say, oh, I should be down here. Yeah, I should. This is the way in. The way, the way I went in last time, it's the way I was told to go in last time, and uh, yeah, it's the way I'll be coming back out as well. to the left. Any further to the left, I'm on, and I'm scraping the alloys. That's what that beacon is. Tweets. So I'm 
I'm just concentrating on my reversing manoeuvre. I'm going to go into the road a little bit, I think, to, to make this turn, possibly. Oh, I don't like that. The road slightly slants and the trailer's like slanting quite a bit. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> That's why I was going slow, because it's like, I don't think you can tell on camera, but it, it, yeah, it's slanting. Point. That's the worst of the slant done. Uh, so yeah, we've just got to tuck over here into this corner. Like I said, I need to go forward a little bit, I think, and get a slightly tighter angle. Okay, here we are. So, straps are off, ready to go. As you can see, it's most of the back stuff. Uh, that stuff there is not not flares, but I'm pretty sure they're going to have to take the top one off to get to one of theirs behind it and then put it back on again. So, yes, that's what we got. Here's the truck. Here's the road that we had to come down. So it's quite a busy road now, I think, because they've shut that A360. There's a lot of vehicles coming down. Quite a, quite a busy road all of a sudden. But uh, yeah, don't know if you can quite tell the slope, but that was the slope we had to deal with. It's a bit sketchy when you've got a lot of weight on your trailer, but never mind. Anyway, to get out, we're gonna have to take a nice wide swing. Looks easy on the camera because it's a wide end, wide length. But uh, if I switch back to normal rear, so we're gonna have to take a wide swing, with a, uh, sorry, drive out and get around there. And the trailer will still be dragging around the corner, but. We'll make it. Anyway, let's get these off and then uh, crack on to the next destination in Gosport. I'll tell you what, fair play to this boy. <laughs> That's a big JCB and he's taking them two packs off at a time. Uh, not taking long at all. <laughs> oh, also forgot to say, uh, during that time lapse, you may have heard there was like that music mentioned in my name. Uh, it should be available to download on Spotify iTunes, all that malarkey. If not now, then very soon, so keep an eye out. I'll post something on my social media to uh, to announce it as well, but it's called East to West, Luke and HDV. Those tires were shiny this morning, but that's because, um, well, it was so tight coming down, it was in, like I said, I was <laughs> literally rubbing alongside the uh, the edge. <laughs> like I said, any, any further would be scraping the alloys. Um, yeah, we'll put some more tire shine on that later on today. Let's get back out of it. There's no point doing it now, is it? Just get dirty again on the way out. We'll, uh, we'll tire shine them beauties back up once we're uh, at the next job. They look shiny on the back, didn't they? <laughs> yep, so he needs just that one there, but he needs to take that one off first to get that one off. So that's what's, what he's going to do now. Right. Strapped up, ready to go. Let's jump back in the truck. And hopefully we can get out of here uh, easier than it was to get in. <laughs> Right, we're going to go back through Salisbury now and head towards Southampton to get to Gosport, which is obviously near Portsmouth. In drive, let's go. Are we going to get out? <laughs> A lot easier than it was to get in. in. That's the question. Where are you going? You got that room? still busy but all oh, these vehicles are coming down. I might actually keep my beacons on getting out. Just uh just gives people a little bit of extra warning that I'm a large vehicle. Just while I get out of here because it's only um well 0 0.7 miles. Not far, dash cam's now rolling. Yeah, see they immediately swerved. The, the beacon and they might have as well. The beacons just sort of say I'm big. Go careful. <laughs> I 
thing is this is this is the wide part of the road. <laughs> it gets a bit narrower up here. So far so good. Have I jinxed it? <laughs> so far so good. Uh, this is where we were stuck last time in this little bit. So I would say yes, yeah, so far so good. You've got to remember as well, when we turned up it was just after 8 o'clock, which would have been um, like rush hour traffic, people going to work. It's uh, a bit quieter now. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Okay, so we are a couple of miles away now from the second delivery in Gosport, just on the A32, Brockhurst Road. We, I think we're going to be driving through, through town for a bit, I think. I think that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, now, I've already phoned them up. They said park opposite the road, opposite them on the other side of the road. As we approach, it's going to be on our left which means we're going to have to get up onto the other side of the road and uh, park up there. I guess they offload us from the road somehow. I guess. Right, you join me down the road, we're parked there, look. <laughs> uh, we're just having a look to see where we can turn around. So they have to tip us from one side of the road. Once they've done that, we need to come down here, turn left, reverse back, 
drive back down facing the right way and then get tipped on the other side. A little bit, a tiny bit, a little bit annoying because it means we're gonna have to, well, I've already unstrapped, but it means we need to restrap it again. Um, so, that, so they don't fall over basically when doing the, the turning. So yeah, <laughs> we'll get this side tipped, restrap, go up there, turn around. It's only two straps I got put on and then um, come back down again, face over way, get the other side tipped. And then we're, at least we're heading the right way then as well. So there she is. Just waiting to be offloaded. Right, that's all taken off now. All taken off. That's just for the last drop. Just waiting for the paperwork to be signed. Uh, here at Stolen Fencing, then we'll be off. Okay, paperwork signed. We're gonna crack on now to the next drop. I'm not gonna film myself leaving. Sorry, we'll see you in Chichester. Uh, where we get the last of this taken off. Don't know what we're doing from Chichester, but I do know my truck has an inspection uh, today or over the weekend. So I'm definitely gonna have to take my truck to Iveco and drop it off at some point. Whether that's before we, or after we get loaded today is, uh, is the question. So I'll see you later when we know more. Right, you join me outside, we're unstrapped, we're ready to go. Truth be told, I've been here a good 10 minutes already, they haven't started me yet. Uh, they've got customers to deal with, so they're, they're, they're sorting them out first, but truck is here. It's shiny, and uh, yeah. So from here, we've got to go to Basin State, we've got to pick up a load of pallets, take that to Seven Oak uh, in Bristol. Delivery date does say today's date on it, so we've got to try and get that done uh, as quickly as possible. Um, but whilst we're waiting to be tipped, we are having a break. So, yeah, straps are off. I should probably mention, not on break when taking straps off, on break now. That is what I'm doing. So, before anyone says, oh, you can't have a break while taking straps off. Yeah, I know, I was an on break. So yeah, we're just gonna wait now, wait to be tipped, and then we'll crack on to Basingstoke. Okay, break is up. Uh, they offloaded me a while ago, just stayed here now and had a break. So I'm gonna crack on and I will see you in Basingstoke where we're gonna get loaded with pallets. I'm gonna assume it's 520 high. Sorry, 520 total, which will be 20 high. So that'll be fun, strapping it up. It's quite warm today, quite warm. Anyway, I'll see you later, see you in a bit. Right, we are in Basingstoke, just checked in. Apparently someone who used to work here got stabbed to death. And uh, I know. What a way to start this bit. And uh, apparently they're in a minute silence, so uh, everything's on, sort of locked down. Temporarily, I think. So I'm just gonna wait in the cab. Someone said someone, the guy in the gate said someone would be with me um, when they're available. So don't know how long that's gonna be. So just go wait in the truck. Okay, we're in, we're being loaded and they're going 15 high by the looks of it. So. A little bit easier to strap up, which is good. Well, right, we're fully loaded, fully strapped up and good to go, but Portlift driver told me to wait for five minutes. I think actually he's coming now, but we are fully loaded and ready to go. Right, paperwork done, we're loaded. Let's crack on. 
it's uh, 20 to 3 in the afternoon, so we should be there. I think it's about an hour, so we should be there by 4 o'clock. And uh, hopefully we're not there for too long, but doesn't matter if we are. Should be back, assuming we're going back to the yard from there. I imagine we'll be back in the yard for about 5-ish. And then drop the trailer, drop the truck off. Happy days. Oh, what a day. We're still here, we're still in, <laughs> still in Shep. Um, they're just taking them off now. Um, but we had a break because we were waiting ages to be let in. So anyway, we're in now. I just need to quickly make my cab tilt safe because I've got to have an inspection later. I've got to drop it off, get a lift back. It's going to be a late one tonight. But uh, yeah, so I just need to quickly run through it and just make sure it's safe to tilt. Right, you join me at 20 to nine at night. We are still working. We did manage to make it back to the yard. Uh, we got another 15 minutes left of driving time, um, which we will use to get to Iveco because we still need to go to Iveco. But before we go to Iveco, we need to fill it with our blue. So that's what I need to do now. I need to pop into the unit, get the blue pump, and download my taco card, and then. Go to IVK, get to IVK, I'll be there in like 20 minutes, 25 tops. And then someone's gonna be there waiting to pick me up and I'll be back here before I was nine, before my shift is finished. So I won't have gone over working, I wouldn't have gone over driving, everything is legal, happy days. But I gotta do this now. Well, I don't have to, I can do it now or I can do it Monday morning. I'd rather do it now, to be honest. So, Get the admin done, hand the paperwork in, download the card, fill it with our blue, crack on to Iveco, get picked up and come back. <laughs> oh, it's a late one tonight, but we'll be uh, we'll be done before half. Well, as long as we are done by half nine, then uh, we'll be okay. Right, our blue restocked. Card has been downloaded. Just got to grab it again to drive. To Iveco, and then uh, yeah, let my lift know that I'm heading there. They head there as well, and bring me back here. That's the plan. Right, let's lock her up. Right, and we're in Iveco. Truck is there. Just gonna go hand the keys in now, and then get back to the yard. It's been a late one today. Right, keys are dropped off. Trucks over there. Uh, <laughs> our lift should be just around the corner. It's nine o'clock, so as long as we're back at the yard in the next 30 minutes, we haven't run out of working time. Uh, and then what I do Monday morning is I equate for this time, because obviously I'm still on the clock. So I do a manual entry Monday morning to say that I didn't actually finish at nine o'clock. I finished at blah, 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 whatever time I got back to the yard, which will be in about 10 minutes time, maybe 15, let's see. As long as he turns up. <laughs> and we're back. We are back. It is, well, it's half past nine still. Uh, sorry, it's just gone half past nine, sorry, I should say. We've been in the car for the last five minutes. <laughs> been on the phone to the wife. She's already in bed, bless her. Um, so yeah, we're done. Uh, I'm going to drive home now, grab some food on the way home because I haven't had anything to eat, and then pretty much go to sleep. <laughs> been a busy day today it's been 15 hours we started at six we finished at nine and um yeah busy day a lot of waiting around in traffic which is never good they like sitting in traffic but that's part of the job part of the industry and um yeah big shout out to the person who come and rescue me so thanks for watching do appreciate it until next time drive safe stay safe and i wish you thanks for watching Bye.